let's answer this question. Two parallel lines Given Q, if PL and QM are tangent to a circle, Passing through the point P, Q, and R, then the radius of circle is options are four, two root two, two. And root two. PL is eight units. QM is two units. The two parallel line segments. Does that the line segments PM and QL intersect at R? If PL and QM are tangent to a circle passing through the point P, Q and R, then the radius of the circle is. This is the question. Read the question carefully in the diagram. Length of PL is 8 and the QM is 2 units. They are parallel also. And these are tangent to a circle also. PL. This must be QM. They intersect at R, and the circle is passes through P, Q, and R as you can see. And as these two are tangents, this should be ninety degree. And that's how you have PL and QM as parallel lines. The question is, what is the radius of the circle? This is the center of the circle. To join these, this would be the radius.
lucky to find the radius of the circle. Uh, if you look at this, this triangle, PQM, is a right angle triangle. So this angle is theta. Let's assume that this angle is theta. This angle will, will also be 90. Angle in semicircle is 90. So therefore, this is also 90. This would be 90 minus theta. As a result, this would be theta. Agree? This is a right angle triangle R. So if this angle is theta, this would be 90 minus theta. This is 90 because angle in a semicircle is 90. So this is 90. So this would be theta. And then if I consider two right triangles here, one is right triangle PQM. This is two, it's been given to us. And another right triangle I consider. Which one? QPL. This triangle, this triangle and this triangle. This is theta, this is 90. This is theta, this is 90. So by double A similarity, these two triangles are similar. Okay. This right angle triangle, one angle is 90, one angle is theta. Then I have another right triangle, which is this. So this angle is 90 and this angle is, so both are similar triangles, but double A similarity. So when both are similar, so I can take the ratio of corresponding sides. In this triangle PQM, the side opposite to theta would be 2. And this angle is 90 minus theta, right? In this triangle. In this triangle, this is 90 minus theta. This is 90 minus theta. In the other triangle, this is 90 minus theta. So the side opposite to 90 minus theta is 8. This triangle, the side opposite to theta is 2. And in this triangle, the side opposite to theta, this is theta. This side is, this is R, this is also R. This would be 2R. I've taken the ratio of the side opposite to angle theta. Theta of the side opposite to theta is 2. Theta opposite side is 2R. Then I take another, another angle. In this triangle, if I take 90 minus theta, this triangle I take 90 minus theta side is 8. mistake. First, I've taken this this side. I've taken this triangle. In this triangle, I've taken the side opposite to theta is 2. And that theta opposite to 2R. Now I take the smaller triangle, this triangle. This is 90 minus theta. The side opposite is 2R. And the bigger triangle, 90 minus theta opposite side is 8. Right. This is now correct. It will be 16 is equal to 4R square. That gives you R square is equal to 4. That will give you R is equal to 2. So that's how you get the answer. Yeah, Malaika, that's right. 2 is the correct answer. So I've taken two similar triangles and then I've taken the ratio of 
corresponding sides. And the ratio is 2 by 2R, 2R by 8, that gives you R is equal to this was a question from 2023 paper.